what is going on, Cancer? Birthday blessings still is in effect, right? Happy Monday, okay? What a sign is your day, Cancer? We start with y'all, of course, of course. And um, we're going to grab, this week is going to be uh, Spirit Sense Messages. So we're going to use my deck that I have, that I made, and we're going to get it cracking, okay? Um, Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and don't forget to subscribe. Yes, I do personals. That's just in the description box below. Um, I don't know, for some strange reason, my mosquito bites decided to act smooth up just now. So, uh, get your uh, off spray or whatever little repellents, you know, that you use or you wear, okay? Especially being outdoors. But we're going to get into this cancer and we're going to see what is popping in Jus Energy, okay? Already cracking the deck. We got Sagittarius Energy here with the Temperance, Father Sims. Um, I'm not going to read out the book today. We're going to go sh straight into the guidance. So, yeah, angels have protected you and blocked someone from coming in and trying to. I heard sneak attack you. Somebody was trying to sneak attack you and cause you some sort of loss here. Somebody's trying to. Um, I heard steal your slice of the pie. I saw the. What is that? A, sc a scary movie? When they was all sitting around, I think it's probably, I don't know if it's part one or part two. And then he was like, my germs. It's like somebody's trying to my germs. Yeah, because they was doing an over the pie or whatever. It's like somebody's trying to my germs, like your blessing or some offer that's coming into you. Um, they want to still see you be in a struggle. Somebody's trying to intercept this. Intercept something that's coming towards you or some sort of one or something like that. So let's get it. Ooh, child. Congratulations. I feel like somebody's pregnant. I don't know why I just felt this wave of nausea. It ain't me. <laughs> so congratulations. Yeah, listen to your fortune teller. Congratulations. Stop trying to hide. Go take that test. Oh, Lord. All right. So let's see Divine Holy Spirit. What we got here for the cancer placements? We got a mother of six phone out in reverse. This is a karmic energy here. Okay. Um, somebody that's trying to claim some sort of rights or territory that they don't have. Um, rights too. Um, this is all somebody who's taking ill action and ill intent. Somebody could be sending, you could be seeing crows, okay, or like vultures, um, ravens. I'm really getting like black, you're seeing the blackbirds, okay. Somebody is, um, sending attacks towards your way, okay. Somebody also is doing some sort of candle magic here as well. Um, be very cautious, men or women, it doesn't matter. This is also somebody who's trying to come in and use some sort of like sexual energy here to like, I'm seeing double S. So your sacral and your solar plexus, this is somebody who's trying to like beat you down. I heard fragments, okay? Somebody wants you like beaten down to the most minimal size possible. They don't want to see you rebuild, okay? Yeah, okay. So we have Gemini energy here with the lovers, uh... This Queen of Wands here was Aries energy. We have the Sun of Knives, which is the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, um, yeah, Taurus energy here, Free Man, Aries energy here, and then we have Four of Baskets. Okay, can't say there you are. So yeah, this is definitely over a relationship as well. Okay, or like um. Maybe a business partner, but this is the coming together of you and a soulmate type energy, something that is supposed to be in your life to help you grow and continue down your path, or at least someone that you're meeting on this journey that is um, like a, a pinnacle lesson. Like I'm hearing stepping stone or lesson, okay? You, it's the next the next stop. Like you, this is the next thing that you need to do to keep moving forward or like the person that you need to be on this part of this journey, okay? But... <clears throat> So, yeah, like I said, this is, like, about that type of energy. Something also could have happened in the month of June, okay, or just Gemini season in a whole. Um, but I feel like somebody could have even went and tried to, like, like I said, somebody, incantation, somebody was saying something over you. Somebody paid a, a good amount of money. Somebody was, in, yeah, they was doing the jar spells. They was in a graveyard. I feel like somebody could have, um, I don't know why I'm getting, like, spoke over something like food or a drink or something like that or an item and they tried to present it to you cancer um i feel like you a lot of you guys already have denied this offer okay 
or I feel like spirit is also telling you to be mindful and don't be so quick to just take in anything, no matter how pretty the package is looking. Um, because somebody is coming in, they're very mindful of what it is that you have been doing. And they're come, I feel like somebody is try, wants to come in to like have some sort of say over what it is you got going on. Or like I said, somebody could, and it's crazy, he's coming with this knife. I know he has a knife on the switchblade, but I see the knife. And she's bent over. Luckily, she's looking. It's like somebody's trying to sneak up behind you and, like, stab you in the back or hurt you or whatever. Like, somebody could be trying to, like, put you over here in this cemetery, okay? And, like, so it's like whatever somebody's trying to come in and offer, like, somebody could be trying to come and act like they want to offer you help, but they're really coming in and, like, stab you in the back. Whoever this mother sticks in reverse energy is. It's a karmic energy, man or woman, it don't matter. But this is somebody who is, um... They're taking, like, real firm action. This is somebody who also wants to come in and possibly, like, fight you. Like, very jealous energy. Um, irrational is what I heard. Like, this person, they have no, no, uh, they have no reason. I heard rhyme and reason. They have no um reason. Somebody could write poetry or something like that or songs. But they have no reason to come in and do what they're doing towards you. Like, they have no right, Okay. Like, somebody's just doing this out of pure jealousy and um, greed, okay? I feel like this is a, a somebody who wants to come in and take. They they want what you have here, Cancer, okay? So, what is this about? What's underneath the deck? Yeah, to a basket. It's over a soulmate connection, a relationship, okay? Um, business partner, friends, um, a new job opportunity, especially with these pinnacles here. Like, somebody could be trying to make it so that you're... In, like you're incompetent or like you're um you're not able, you're not capable to take a <clears throat> take a offer or, you know, do some sort of job or work. Somebody doesn't want you to invest in yourself. Somebody doesn't want to see you have a a positive return on whatever it is that you're um placing your time, money and energy into, right? So yeah, it's like at the end of the day the universe is pretty much telling you though, like you you're you're free okay despite the car saying like the free man but you you are exactly that like you are free um you want you're on the right path you're doing what needs to be done you're meeting the right people and it's like somebody just wants to come in and really like destroy this or somebody like this person could even be going around and lying on you or whatever to like block any connections that's trying to come towards you make people not be interested in you at all like I said, somebody definitely could have did a jar spell here or like a freezer spell or something like that to like keep you stuck. Yeah, you could receive communication about this or it could just like you'll see like the backfire possibly happening and hitting somebody here as well. Sagittarius energy. But let's get it. We're going to get into the spirit says deck. And we're going to pull the message on this. So. Something about a nursing home. It's a karmic masculine. Somebody could be Italian. Somebody can't. Yeah, this karmic energy. They. They can't stand their own reflection. Like they do a lot of things for attention, but. Like, I'm seeing somebody who's, like, sitting in the yeah, purple rain. Like, they sitting in a shower and they crying and stuff. They they feel dirty. Like, I don't know. Like, this is somebody. It's like they know in the back of their mind what they're doing isn't right. And that's why they feel the way they feel. Like, they feel dirty. Like, somebody is, like, scrubbing off the stench of failure. Or I don't know if this is somebody who maybe they sleep around with a lot of people or something like that. So, like, when they're done doing what they do, like, they... They go home and scrub off whatever. Like, they feel like shit. My thing is, if it's, something makes you feel that way after you do it, yeah, confession, I can't take it in. Like, don't do that shit. Like, that should be telling you that what you're doing is wrong. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like that really needs to be heard. This isn't one of those things that's giving me, oh, if you're afraid, do it anyway. Because it's, you know... You only fail if you don't, you know, try. No, it's not even giving that. Like, the, this is one of those, like, yo, you know this was wrong from the jump. Like, and you still did it anyway. 
clout hungry chasing because you wanted some sort of attention. Like this is um an attention whore as well. Somebody could have um more specific grandoir bipolar disorder. Okay. But let's see. Divine Holy Spirit. Let's get some messages. What does cancer placements need to know? I want to be with you. I'm telling you, this is a, a relationship for a lot of you guys. Somebody who's coming in. Your lover's finally coming in here. This could be their ex or your ex or somebody who's upset that this is happening. You're rejecting them. So they're trying to like stop you or this connection or this union from coming together. We got a receptionist here. Okay. Yeah. Interception. Somebody trying to, um, somebody, somebody trying to, what? For somebody... You're missing a lot of phone calls and stuff. Somebody has like your phone cloned or something like that. So they're intercepting and taking in like important phone calls and messages that you're supposed to be receiving. So if you've been waiting for like certain phone calls or, you know, like messages or whatever. Spirit saying that, that's just that's just a stay right there. Whoever they know. Somebody has been intercepting They've been blocking a, a lot of certain calls from coming in, like certain communication, because they're trying to delay and slow something down from you. So it's, it's like, you know, they could be like, yo, I texted you earlier. Why didn't you text me back? And you'd be like, yo, I never got that text. It's because somebody, they blocked it and made sure you didn't get that text. Or it's like you text somebody at 10 o'clock in the morning, and they text you back at 7 p.m. And they're telling you like, oh, like, I just got your message, like my phone acting up or something. No, their phone isn't acting up. And yes, they did just get your message, but somebody delayed it because they're trying to cause some sort of conflict or like mess something up with this, this night of um, swords here. They're trying to mess up some form of communication, like somebody trying to come in and send you a message or whatever, trying to start something new. They're trying to make sure that this doesn't happen. OK, but we have a six man here. OK, there's an angel. So that's why I'm saying you're only missing some things. You're still getting, you know, other messages and phone calls in. Like, people are leaving the voicemails, so you're at least getting a voicemail to know that the call existed. Or, you know, it's not causing the the upheaval and the, um, the conflict and the arguments, you know, about missed calls or missed text messages like somebody was trying to create. Because whatever of the importance or there's, like, an understanding that's coming in that's, like, allowing this stuff to just still run smooth for you. Yeah, we have light worker energy healing here, okay? We have your, like, being the total package, okay? Um, you could also be delivering a message to somebody here that's actually going to help, like, save their life or something like that or, like, really help them out. Okay, we got Ebony. When I wrote this card, this was that Cousin Ebony vibe off Players Club, okay? Um, but somebody could also be, you know, melanated skin, okay? Or your name could be Ebony. Let's get some from here. Divine Holy Spirit. It's Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn. I said it for a reason, but what does cancers need to know? We got somebody out here with an illegal firearm, okay? It's just one thing that got them slipping and tripping, okay? Five o'clock in the morning. Be very careful. This could be somebody who's, like, driving around your place with this illegal firearm, okay? Or somebody's up, like, early in the morning, like, I don't know why I'm getting, like, a watcher stalker vibe or something like that. Look, stay prayed up and stay vigilant. Very observant, you know. Well, let me break it down. Pay attention to your surroundings. Because somebody's trying to watch you. They watch you at the early morning hours. Like somebody's trying to catch you like slipping or coming outside. Something like that. <clears throat> Somebody could have HIV or herpes or AIDS. Okay. Cousin Ebony could have this shit. Out here passing this around. Because Ebony was a hoe, man. Come on, man. She's up with a dude. I don't know why I just got this. The energy is... Like I said, the person, they go in the house and they... At the end of the day, like, they feel dirty and they got to take a shower. I was about to say somebody had a train ran on them, okay? Yeah, whoever this is, they, they got this type of stuff going on. They be watching you and see you looking what you're looking at. Like I said, be careful because somebody is, like, they're out to hurt you or, like, get you or something like that. Somebody could drive a Benz, okay? Somebody name could be Ben, sure. 777, though, we just had that portal open up yesterday. Yes, the luck streak, okay? Take time for yourself and embrace solitude, Cancer. I love to see that. Hell, if you wishing for it, Benz, you might get it. But then we have Julius. This could be somebody's name, but this is also like that Julius Caesar energy. Um, and when I wrote this down, I <laughs> I literally said, Etu Brute. 
then falls Caesar. So, be, like I said, be very careful of your surroundings and the people around you. Somebody out here to backstab or betray you, come up behind you and backstab you. I said that. And that's what happened with Julius Caesar, his homeboy, Brutus. He freaking, you know, snuck up on him with, you know, the gang of people who was coming up against him. And he betrayed him and killed him. So, it's like, be careful. This could be somebody that you call a friend, okay? Or like an advisor to you or something like that. Okay, the receptionist. Maybe this person has a receptionist job. Okay, but this is somebody who wants to come in and like essentially betray you. So let's get some clarification going real quick. All right, we're making good with time. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So let's see. Why is receptionist here? What can you tell us about this receptionist and the divine Holy Spirit? This receptionist could have a fish odor, okay? BV, yeast infection, trichomonas, some shit like that cracking on down in the bottom below the pants. But they got a fishy odor. Oh, they could just like to eat fish. Maybe they look like a fish. I don't know. This person could have green eyes, drive a green car, love the color green, okay? Maybe where you work at, the logo of the place that of this receptionist is green. All right, they could drive a Chrysler, okay, or they could be a receptionist at Chrysler. They could be a receptionist at Ford, or they could drive a Ford, all right? But this is a dumb person. Like, they done did some dumb shit, like I said. Or well, how I'm hearing they were screwing off in a Chrysler and then hopped in a Ford and screwed off in the Ford. But this person is dumb, okay? Like, they be chasing a buck. They willing to for a buck, okay? And they're not sorry, okay? They ain't sorry for what they do. But late at night when all the world is sleeping, yeah, okay. That's when that stuff creep back up and it be, like, eating them alive, okay? What's the six-man energy? We got the color green here. This is giving me money vibes. But, again, somebody could have green eyes. A six-man, a six-person could have green eyes or whatever. Drive a green car or something about the color green. But it's walking by faith, not by sight. Okay, we got Earth Angel here. So this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. All right. Or somebody is green with envy. Like they're jealous eyes. This receptionist could be jealous. Okay, that's that envy, that jealousy. This is that mother of sticks. This is the person who's driving by your house. Okay, jealous, stalking you, watching you. Um, they they could have family doing this. This could be somebody in your own family. Or like I said, you have your six, your six. Man, your angel, I'm I'm seeing um what was that movie? Jo not Joanna Man. Oh, the Sixth Man, legit with um Marlon Wayans. But um yeah, you, you could have like your family watching over you, okay? Correction officer, okay? You or this person or again this family member could be that or again like this is like your ancestors watching over you, the six man energy. They're paying attention, they're watching over you because they know that this person is trying to come in and abuse you, okay? Yeah, and it's all credit to God, the big G, not the little one, okay? Like I said, so God has sent in your spiritual army to protect you from this crazy person. Yeah, somebody could drive a scion, okay? So why is light worker energy healing here? You bad as shit. Thank you. <laughs> but like spirit, like you letting me know, like, hey, you bad as shit. You got this going. Yeah, they was definitely in that graveyard, okay? They was definitely playing in that graveyard. All right, we got the total package here. Somebody could be from Canada. <laughs> hey, 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 run for your life. <laughs> yeah, because somebody uh, ain't good. <laughs> they ain't like us. Better or no, like somebody can't believe that you're actually as good as you are, right? Like you have no problem cutting people off and walking away. The cold never bothered me anyway. Like I said, you got a grandmother here, ancestors watching over you because ain't nobody got time for that, baby. Ain't nobody got time for that, okay? All this torture that somebody's trying to send towards you, okay? You may have a sister that's passed over or again, like with this ebony showing up, you could be melanated, okay? Somebody also could have been doing this because of the color of your skin. This is colorism. Somebody don't like the fact that you know you're dark skin, okay, and they're light skin. They feel like you could get too much attention as somebody with melanated skin. They don't feel like you should, all right? We have these initials, DKMTW, first, middle, last name. Could be yours or theirs. I'm also getting a nickname. I'm also getting a street name. <clears throat> this could be the sister's initials, okay, or getting yours. But you're all I need, one mind, one heart, one love. Here I am. We're undefeated to the end of time. So you got a sister who backing you up, okay? 
or you know a grandmother who's protecting you from a sister or the, again this is just your family looking out for you because they know people trying to um screw you over yeah i can't take it anymore confession somebody about to come in and finally like say what they need to say okay somebody could like you know maybe somebody could have like been tr trying to get connected to you like through your sister or something like that maybe they had like a grandparent who told them like go get your person like you know they the total package somebody could be just feeling torture at this time because they they don't have you in their life and they, they feel like they need to come in and tell you that you know you, that you're there everything and they want you and i don't know why i just seen like carnival montreal so somebody could speak french or they could be a, like from the island or something um, when I think of Carnival, like, what, November, you could be done with a um, Scorpio or a Sag, okay? What's Ebony? What's the Ebony energy here, please? What's the Ebony energy here? Yeah, somebody wants to come. Mm -mm, that is way too much. Something is saying you need to take it, though. Let me go find that card where... Oh, cut off. Because I just seen a Players Club and I had said that. So let me just go and get the stack. <laughs> Let's go get the stack. Because this is about Cousin Ebony. Okay. this uh, Cousin Ebony could be finding herself in a hospital. Okay. Or himself in a hospital. Okay. Something of an emergent. Something of an emergent issue could arise. I don't know why that was like so hard for me to get that out. But, um, yeah, so like I said, with the, the whole burning thing or something, like, they could have something, okay? And it can, like, make them sick because that fish energy is coming back. Yeah, maybe they caught something back in February, but they never healed themselves and now it has festered. They could be going in for, like, some upset stomach issue to find out that, you know, it's dealing really with the reproductive issue, or the reproductive system. Somebody could be going there finding out that they have, like, AIDS or some shit like that or HIV. Like, because it's about, like, an emergency. is you know, if you get herpes, you know, you'll have a break on, but... I feel like somebody's like gonna like it's like ending up being like really really sick and then going out and finding going in and finding out that they have you know like AIDS or HIV. Go best friend, that's my best friend. Okay. Oh, with this February energy, somebody's birthday could be in February. Could be done with Aquarius or a Pisces. We got December. Yeah, somebody received a gift that keep on giving, even if you don't want it. Or they got the gift that keep on giving and they giving it away to people. Okay. We got Sagittarius Capricorn energy here, December. They said it wasn't done, but it was done. They're guilty as fuck. Like this person is out here just passing this shit around, giving this a, giving this a, away to people. Okay. I feel um Hell, they could have known since December, and that shit got worse in February, and they still ain't want to go treat themselves, and now they where they at. But they saying, don't worry, they do this behind you because they can't get ahead of you. Okay, yeah, transgender, they mess around with any and anybody, everybody. Okay, you a diva here, collective. You need to save your time and your energy and your breath with dealing with this person. Like, they're not worth it. Okay, yeah, because the karmic confession is, I say things on purpose to provoke you. It's an energy vampire, like, they're not worth your energy. Yeah, they're bottom of the barrel, Okay. And they be stalking you, okay? Creepy as fuck. Like I said, and this is... He was out to, like, hurt her. He became obsessive, like, Stan, and wanted to hurt her. Okay, that's what I'm saying. With that illegal firearm, okay? Be careful. Because, like I said, it's that one thing. They sitting around watching you late at night, but two, 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 everything is balancing out, okay? You are a light... I call you son because you shine like one and somebody doesn't like that. Um, I feel like you're a strong praying warrior and somebody doesn't like that either. But it's the power of how much you can pray. Like your prayers are heard. Okay. You or them kind of the initials DJPV. First, middle, last name, street name. I'm also getting car name or a city name. Okay. And this is make or model. So it could be a Dodge. It could be a Prius. It could be a Volvo. You know, stuff like that. It could be a Jag or it could be a Jetta. So you could be seeing it four, sevens, or eight. Yeah, see, and kind of find out why I'm saying Ebony. Th you know, we're thinking it's a girl. Ebony's a boy, okay? This is somebody, uh, or this, and then there's a stepmom involved as well, okay? Or it's a shock, like whoever people think it is, that it really ain't dumb. It's the stepmom energy. Or again, the stepmom and this this man, okay? So to like my ladies, like if you got a kids, you know, with somebody, like whoever your ex is fucking with, who would be like your kid's potential stepmother. This is the person who's also got this shit going on. The answer's under your nose. All right. It's been playing out in your face. But with that person yeah, is them. Okay. We got diamond here. You a diamond in the rough. Somebody named also could be diamond. Okay. Well, we got this one thing. What's this one thing here, spirit? One thing that you need to do. No, 884. 
four, a powerful indication that you are in sync with the universe. That's the one thing that you need to know. Like all that ass. You got a negative Nancy. Angry Bird, Mad Max, Careless Car, Carl, Upset, Unique, Debbie Downer, Offy Ass Olivia, Pessimistic Paul, okay, Party Pooper, somebody who'll snitch you, a fake supporter in your energy, okay, this could be your own aunt, okay, low key, your own aunt don't like you, all right, somebody is big fucking mad that, you know, you're awake, that you're a chosen person, like you're enlightened, you, you, you got a shower, he got his hand on you, 144, somebody's upset about this. Okay, that you're in sync with the universe. You know what's going on. You're paying attention to everybody. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Where are they going to be? Outside on a corner. Somebody is definitely a walker. <laughs> They're a walker. Yeah, see, look. We got a nursing home right here. Somebody could work in the medical field or, like, they do this. 5 o'clock in the morning, they're supposed to be at work. Or so they telling people that they work some sort of, like, third shift. They're supposed to be at work. They're not. Somebody's leaving and... Shit, because the karmic says, yes, I did black magic on you. No, I don't care. So what? You're divine. You're going down. Again, this could be an aunt or somebody like that, and they're upset. Okay? Hell, this could be your kid's aunt. And <laughs> it's funny because I'm like, Cousin Ebony. <laughs> Whatever. Um, But they don't care. 5 o'clock in the morning, they're, they're doing black magic on you during the witch's hours. This is them, but you're protected. Okay? You're protected, blessed, and highly favored. They're getting locked the fuck up. All right, nursing home, like somebody could like end up like real fucking sick. Or... Somebody's also doing something as far as like stealing meds or something as well. Like if somebody works in like a nursing home setting or somewhere, you know, where there's like residents, right? They're stealing meds. Somebody's stealing meds. What's STD? HIV, AIDS, herpes. What's STD? Why is this here? Cancer. It's a couple. It's a, it's a couple. Told you. Because Ebony is really a dude. He done gave it to his potential stepmama. Yeah, dad president's all over some money. I told you somebody's out here home and I said somebody a streetwalker or some shit like that. Yeah, the cycle's complete. Yeah, somebody is burning. I told you somebody is burning. Don't let them ride your wave and the cycle's over. It's complete. They did this all for money. And like I said, the, the gift that they received was somebody ended up in the hospital finding out really bad news. Like, they end up sick, like sick bad, like bad stomach pain to find out that they got like AIDS. Like, it has fully developed into like AIDS or no, something that they, they definitely can't ever get rid of. Like, it, 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 but it causes pain. Okay. Like, herpes. No, like, shit, that shit just pop, happened to pop up in my blood work. Like, it wasn't like, oh, I went to the hospital and I found... No, that's what I'm saying. I feel like somebody has, like, HIV that's, like, far along in its stages or they have full-blown AIDS. I see you looking with your looking ass. Somebody who could drive a silver Outback. So, if it's a silver Outback sitting parked around you or whatever, they they stalking you. They stalking you. Okay, we got 776. Trust and have faith in your abilities, intuition, and inner wisdom. Biblically, this means coming of a new beginning with God's guidance. You can overcome and succeed. Yeah, so somebody with a silver outback, they be out here watching you. Let me see. What else can you tell me about the silver outback? Who's watching what they're looking at? Or somebody could drive an outback. Or somebody could drive a silver car. And then it doesn't have to be an outback. But... If you got somebody who got an outback in your situation or outback been parked out around your house, yeah. If it's a silver car that's been out parked around your house, yeah. Because not for nothing, I realized it was a silver car parked outside my parents' house that did not move at all for like a number of days. And let that shit be out there today. And it's a Benz, which is crazy as fuck. Let me tell you something. Run up and get done the fuck up. The whole house be on it. We all with the shits. What else about this silver and this outback? Creepy energy. Or not even. Let me see. Yeah, this is somebody who's playing in the graveyard. They're probably checking to see if the fucking spell work or the dark magic worked or whatever. If the death magic worked. Fucking weirdo, bro. DTF, okay. Um, It means down to freak, but I feel like they down to fuck around and find out too. So <laughs> this was somebody who was down to fuck around and find out. Somebody could drive a... We had Ford up top, that receptionist. Somebody could drive a four edge. Okay, or like I said, don't push me. I'm close to the edge. Somebody's on the edge. Yeah, they're about to hurt themselves. 
Somebody about to hurt themselves because they realizing that that graveyard work, they were looking to see if it worked and they seeing that it didn't. Talk to your ancestors, okay? Because your ancestors been out here protecting you and knocking these folks down. Yeah, see, look, I will die for you. We live by the love. We die by the love. Yeah, somebody put themselves on a suicide mission. Now they sitting here looking and stalking you to see if the shit worked. Fishing. Fishing for comments. Somebody could like fishing. But again, this is that ebony energy. The receptionist. This is a fishy motherfucker. They they fishy. They burning. Like, and they say, why are you out here sitting here watching people? What you need to be fucking doing is taking care of your medical health. Like, what the fuck? Your physical body. Like, what the fuck? Why does Ben's here? Yeah, this the motherfucker who going to the hospital. And it's crazy how I said the silver Ben's outside. They, I don't know shit for shit. And I've been asking, everybody been asking who fucking, what's up with that car. Nobody knows. So, boom, there you go. Now we know. I can let, let everybody know. Jay, somebody could be Jada or somebody could be named Jade. Or again, this is green. This is that color green. This is the envious energy here, okay? It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? We said the Aries right there in reverse, okay? Karmic as fuck. But again, this is also somebody who's burning, okay? Or shit is really heating the fuck up. This person could drive a truck. Okay, a bench truck. All right. Um, this person could be 45 to 54 years old. All right. Yeah, 666. Just stay balanced here, collective. Okay, refocus and find balance. This is somebody who is very materialistic. Okay, like I said, they did all of this for money. Okay. Yeah, somebody's name could be Whitney. Or oh, again, we just seen the bodyguard, the creepy one. Like you're like the Whitney. Somebody is stalking you. They see all uh, like you're they see you as famous and fortunate and somebody wants to like rob you or some shit like that. They look at you like Whitney in the bodyguard. Okay, but your ancestors and God is your bodyguard right now. All credit to God. The big G, not the little. He the big bodyguard. He the big G. Feel me? Yeah, there's three people, up to three people doing this. So we done seen the the, the cars out here. We done we got a... Uh, a Ford out here. <clears throat> what was this? Yeah, we got a Chrysler out here. A Ford out here. We have Benz out here. Okay, we have a Ford Edge in particular. All right. But yeah, we, we got a couple few cars out here. Somebody could drive a green car. Somebody could drive a silver car. Okay. Somebody could drive like, it could be like a light green and then like an extremely dark green with that jade color. Okay. But there's three people who's partaking in this. Somebody could drive a Hyundai. Okay. So we got Chrysler, Ford, Hyundai, and then we have a Benz out here, okay, in particular, like, but as far as makes, we have, yeah, we have three makes out here, okay, um, they've been warned, like, especially, this, like, they've been warned, especially this person in this Hyundai, they've been warned, but this is a fucking thought, they're down for whatever, like I said, DTF, they don't care, okay, somebody could drive a Rogue, or th this person is running Rogue, like, they, they really don't fucking care, Okay, in the next 24 hours, somebody's definitely about to be in their feelings, okay? Definitely about to be in their feelings, and they're going to be in their feelings because they're going to see that whatever that they was working on and doing, it didn't work, okay? You have, like, this lucky streak, your, it's your season. No, let's we'll see. Why is 777 here? Tell him. Somebody was deep praying. You could be Hispanic descent, but I'm getting sent to the Somebody was doing money or like, I'm seeing, okay. <clears throat> Thank you. All about the Benjamins. You know how in the beginning when she was like looking for her, um, her, her certain statue in the beginning before the lotto came on. It's something like that to that degree that's happened at Santa Maria. Like if you've been praying, right, your prayers have been heard. If you've been looking for a financial breakthrough, it's coming, okay? So you need to hurry up and pick up your feelings because whoever was trying to block you and trying to like make you feel less than or whatever, they was out here living a lie. Or if somebody was trying to say that you didn't have something or do you was going to be a failure or a loser, that was a lie. A lie that they was telling you by the next holiday, you could be, get if you want an Audi, you getting that new Audi or you're getting into some form of luxury, okay? Or you're going to be out. You get like Audi, I'm Audi, <laughs> Audi 5, Audi 3000, Audi 5000, whatever y'all say, right? But you Audi, I'm out, feel me? But you, you going to be gone, like you going to have it, you going to be gone, okay? Come the next holiday, all right? Yeah, all those money blockages. Um, And I was about to say next holiday, well, where we are will be Labor Day, okay? And that's in Virgo season. So next holiday, them Virgo season or whatever, the money blockage is coming up, okay? If you're a Virgo, if a Virgo is trying to block your money, that shit about to stop, Okay, so just pick up your feelings. Don't worry about it, especially if some, like a Virgo or something was like praying down on your money. Or if you're a Virgo and somebody's praying down on your money, 
Like, don't worry about it. And I also feel like when you get this, um, just be ghost. Like, yeah, be outie. Be ghost. Feel me? Ain't nobody got to know. Like, just be out here lying and saying that you broke. You ain't got shit going on. Because people want to come in and try to block and take from you. Especially, it could be a Virgo or you are a Virgo. Okay? I'm, I'm getting strong that there's a Virgo who will want to come in and try to take from you or still from you or block you from having anything. So, I mean, just be out here broke. I mean, it, well, <laughs> don't say that you broke. Okay? Just be like, I ain't got it, I ain't got it, you know, whatever. But don't don't let nobody know what you got going on because somebody's definitely praying on your downfall. Um, This could be somebody who's a friend. Maybe you got a Virgo friend because then the next card is Julius, okay? And they're betraying you, okay? Because you got this come up where, like, I heard you, you got a lick. Yeah, Julius Caesar. Yeah, they feel like you left them out in the cold and they're broke. Their money was funny. Because they didn't get this come up that you have and they want to take you out. They want to betray you. Somebody wants to get close to you and betray you. Yeah, fraudulent activity. You could be trying to like hack into your accounts and like, you know, steal your money or whatever. Waiting for you to like get some big drop or something like that. So that has been, you know, the, the message. So let's get a spirit oracle message and that will be a cancer. Okay. Um, let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, close this out for cancer. When a door doesn't open, don't waste your energy trying to make it open. It's closed for a reason. You are being redirected to something far bigger and better. Endings are a part of the cycle of life. They make way for wonderful new beginnings and opportunities. So, yeah, let the Lord do what he going to do with all these people in this situation, okay? Perhaps you are reminded all too often just how quickly the faces in your life can shift. One change after another. You are learning to adapt and grow. Be kind and gentle with yourself. So, yeah, you see a lot going on. But as you can see, there's a lot of goodness that's coming in for you. Regardless, just stay vigilant. Stay aware, okay? You're very much enlightened. You know what's going on. Um, and again, fellas, ladies, whatever, if you smell it, they got something bad going on. Don't hit it. Don't lick it. Don't stick it. Hell, I'm... His balls might stink. Don't do it, okay? They got something going on. We done got that fish and everything else that came out too many times. The burning. And look, somebody somebody dirty. Somebody got dirty for JJ out here or a dirty painter. It's both. It's a couple out here who was doing it together. Nasties. Big nasties, okay? So, cancer placements, that has been your message, okay? Somebody said, can we see who this for? Yeah, let's see who in y'all energy. That'd be nice. What signs and placements y'all dealing with when it comes to this, other than what was called? Because I right now off the top, I see uh, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Psy Cancer. Mm. We got Aries rolling out. So this is definitely this karmic definitely could be an Aries or have strong Aries placements. Sagittarius underneath the deck could be the karmic couple. We saw a fire sign over here too, like fire. So I said that. Let's see who else signs and placements and cancer's energy. I'll take three more cards of my Holy Spirit. One more, please. You could be seeing one eleven. You could be seeing 111. We got Aquarius. Somebody um, name first, middle, last could start with an A. Yeah, Cancer. You underneath that right there. Okay. Somebody's birthday could be January 11th or November 1st. One more, please. The on Holy Spirit. One more for Cancer. Placements. Sign or placements in the energy that they're dealing with in regards to this. <coughs> Uh, okay. We got Libra 7, 7 11. That's coming up soon, too. Okay. Um, air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Okay. Virgo, front and center. Double confirmation on that Virgo energy. All right. And then we got heavy on the sun signs here. So heavy sun placements for Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and Virgo. Okay, because we got Libra and Aquarius here already. And look, underneath Libra is you, Cancer. So you're actually getting, you're definitely getting your justice. Okay, things are definitely balancing out that 666 energy. Somebody who refused to allow the situation to balance out, okay, with the six here on Virgo is going to happen regardless of whatever. Um, 
we have 1, 11, 25, 6, 7, and 13, okay, 2013, 2011, 2001, 2006, 2007, something uh, major is taking place next year, okay, um, or by next year, you're definitely going to be good, because we saw these, yeah, you're going to be good, you're going to be more than good, okay, we have January 11th, January 25th, January 6th, January 7th, January 13th, November 1st, 25th, 6th, 7th, 13th, uh, June 1st, 11th, 25th, 7th, and the 13th, July 1st, 11th, 25th, 6th, and the 13th. All right, my lovely Cancer babies, that has been your message. I hope it helps. Until the next time we speak, peace out. Oh, and you know I love your face, but not more than I love you. <laughs> Toodles. Oh, and one more thing. If you made it this far, kudos to you. Um, as we're on the road to a thousand, I was thinking of, you know, what I would do to show my appreciation, um, for you guys for rocking with your girl. Right. And I'm going to do a free reading. So, um, if you, when we reach like close to that, when we reach a thousand mark, I'll definitely like announce and put more details on it, but just, you know, keep a heads up. All right. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Until the next time we speak. Peace.